Как обычно в жопу пьяный Возвращаюсь после пати Вижу в подворотне баба Как-то плачет, бля, не кстати Я как выпью, так пиздец Добрый становлюсь Что случилось, говорю Таня, наделюся Someone just took my photo. Again. I'm standing in front of the National Museum, which I came to years ago, but I understand that this time they have an exhibition about death. Thought that might be a thing worth seeing. Uh, right now we're walking down Wenceslas Square, a very famous tourist area of Prague. Hello. Mm -hmm. We're just taking photos of people who are taking photos of us. People think, oh, it's perfectly all right to take photos of others just because they look a bit different or whatever. And uh, as soon as you turn around and take a photo of them, you're like, what are you doing? This is, that's weird. I feel uncomfortable. Like, really? Is that, is, that, is that a fact? It's actually quite rude to take photos of people as though they're just a statue sitting. Especially, oh, especially eating. Uh, we, we were just sat there eating my favourite Czech food, smarznisir, something I cannot, I fucking can't hardly pronounce. But it's basically like melted cheese and breadcrumbs, and it is, it is just, it's just sent from heaven. Sitting there eating that and just like person after person is just like taking photos of us eating. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Oh, that's nice. Uh, oh, oh no, nah, sorry. <laughs> Twist. I think quite a fun experience. Just people will just stand there and stare and just take photos and smile and laugh and be like, oh, oh, this is great. Take it. They just sit there and just take heaps of photos. You take one of them and they're like, they just don't, they don't look so happy anymore. It's like there's a lady doing it right now. Hi. It's just a bit rude. It's like if you were just to go up to some stranger, just some ordinary person on the street, and take their photo. Well, that would be weird, right? Well, that would be weird. You'd feel weird if people did that to you. And just because you're dressed up a bit fancy, I don't think that really gives anybody the strange, unspoken permission <laughs> to do the same to you. I don't know. I don't mind. If people ask, it's perfectly all right. But so, we're just turning it back on them and seeing how they feel about it. It's quite, it's quite funny. Oh, I really do think that tourists leave their common sense and their manners and their other trousers. Or they forget to pack it when they go on holiday. <laughs> In one hour we have taken over 100 photos from people who have taken a photo. Oh yeah. Wow, we don't look that weird, do we? You're too tall, I can't get you in. No, uh, so I have to make me smaller. Меня зовут, бросил меня муж любимый, наплевав на весь уют. Дай совет ты мне, прохожий, ведь неопытная я, а в делах сердечных сроду не секла я нихуя. Опа! Опа! А не секла я нихуя! their holiday snaps with me holding a video camera at them. <laughs> so now that I've found this whole new zest for life and the whole fuck it, we're gonna die one day, why don't we just do the thing now? Why not? But we've decided that because we had this bad experience yesterday at Kutnahora where they decided that we were definitely Satanists and were going to perform some weird rituals while we were there or whatever the fuck it was, I thought we were Doing. We thought it would be a really nice idea if we just got this symbol tattooed right here. <laughs> so we're going to get matching tattoos. Are you nervous now? Yep. You ask if it's sore? No, oh, it's okay. Yeah.
Okay, now it's my turn. <laughs> It's a bit painful, but uh, in nature yeah. you're a ginger, so... I understand gingers have a higher pain threshold. My feet are killing me, my skin hurts. I seriously need to invest in a pair of shoes that aren't these ones. Ooh, ooh. Oh, another duck. When people learn to speak English, they often will have a, a certain accent when they learn it. It's quite funny. Got a tattoo. Check. In check. What area do you go to today? Well, eventually, they had to give us these weird, like, Hebrew blessings and shit first. It was so scary. <sighs> it's like, I, can, I can't actually film you because you're just like a foot taller than I am. We just got matching tattoos. You can't see them yet, but we can give you the finger with a bandage on. Mmm, smells like antiseptic. It hurts so much. It hurts so much. Ow. Ach, komm. Next time I get a tattoo, it's going to be somewhere really soft and squishy, like on my butt. <laughs> I like spontaneity. All right, I'm going to go get 400 mojitos now. And a like bottle of absinthe, mojitos, too. Oh yeah, I got a bottle of absinthe. A skull-shaped bottle of black absinthe. I would show you, but it's all nicely wrapped up in paper. Maybe I'll show you later. Follow me on Instagram, at It's Black Friday. Instagram, where I will probably take a picture of this really cool well, skull-shaped bottle of black absinthe. Where can I go to get a mojito for 400? It's so sunny, but every time we stop, people just start taking a picture again. And I'm just like, urge to kill rising. Well, I, I really and wonder only... that, you don't, uh, that you didn't drop to ashes or something. <laughs> oh, it's oh, only a matter of time. It's so hot. I've just ordered two mojitos. I don't know how much money I have left, but I'm spending it all on mojitos. They are the most refreshing drink on the face of the earth. And apparently it's happy hour for mojitos, especially. So it'll be a little bit cheaper. Mm. Like, and all of you watching must really think I'm some sort of horrendous booze hound for the amount of times you see me drinking. <laughs> and talking about drinking, I'm not really. It just, I guess it just seems that way. <laughs> Hello, waiter. I would like 400 mojitos, please. Hello. Oh, God, I'm a oasis in the wüste. Herrlich. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Two mojitos. <sighs> Actually, the most refreshing drink on the entire planet. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, lovely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not <laughs> And finished. Time for round two. And round two. I said I was going to drink 400, but I figure four is probably satisfactory. I can help you. <laughs> what will help me with the 400? <laughs> this is the best food in all of Europe. I can't hardly pronounce it. Smarjnisir, which is crumbed melted cheese in bread with mayonnaise. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so fucking happy. I bought two of them. And why not? Why get one when you can get two? I'm in a McDonald's bathroom and I just took the sticky plaster off my tattoo that I still can't believe I got. <laughs> so there we go, that's what it looks like at the moment. I can't believe I got this tattoo. It looks all like purple and red and bobby and sore at the moment and it still hurts a little bit. It's really neat, I like it. It's been interesting. One of the joys of traveling, especially traveling on a budget, is having to wake up really early and travel, walk around a lot and carry a lot of bags. Very little sleep and lots of rushing to the bus station this morning. You're on the bus and it's time to say bye bye to Prague. Maybe see you again in another seven years. Bye!